What is going on YouTube? Uh, once again, my name is Blaze Shadowthorn. I'm using um, basically the same team I used when I battled John, except I'm using my Grenin uh, my Gengar instead of my Delphox because I was still training my Delphox at the time. So this random dude challenged me on uh, Passers by. I actually got a couple battles from him. So looking at his team, you know, I see Xerneas, which is like big threat. I see Mewtwo, which I also think is big threat, and everything else on his team is like a Haunter and a Pharaoh, a uh, Fero, like. Okay, whatever. So yeah, I'm using basically my team. So let's see how let's see how it goes. Uh, so we're actually the first time I uh, did this, I did uh, a live narration of this battle, which completely sucked because last time I got challenged by a, a passerby who used a, a Veltar, an Xerneas, a Mega Mewtwo Y, and a Zygarde, and I smashed him both times, and both times he raged. So you know, every time I'm challenged at a passerby, I automatically just record it live just in case. But anyway, I'm going to go for head, but I don't get the flinch. He goes for the Hydro Cannon, the Hydro Cannon, and takes me out. So I'm like, that warrants a free switch into Scizor, which is like, all right, let's go, because you have to recharge. So I'm going to go for a double hit, and because I really didn't think a Sword Stance, uh, 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 a sword stance Bullet Punch would have killed, so I just went for the double, uh, the, the double hit. So now he's going to go into his Mewtwo, and his Mewtwo's like, hey, and I'm like, Hey, what's up, Mewtwo? And the Mewtwo's like, sup, I'm just gonna go straight for that Mega Evolution, Mega Evolve, into Mega Mewtwo X, and that thing, ladies and gentlemen, is a huge threat! And so, yeah, but he makes it not that big of a threat by going for an Aurosphere, which is like, okay, you're gonna give your 194 attack, uh, Mewtwo X special moves. Legit, bro. Legit. Then he goes for the Psychic, which is like, no Psycho Cut? Like, I guess this is what you get for um, battling people off uh, online, because they don't EV train, they give their Pokemon weird game, weird weird things. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to go for that uh, plus two Bullet Punch, and that is able to knock out that Mewtwo. So I don't have to worry about that anymore. He's going to go out and do a Zygarde. I'm going to go for that plus two Bullet Punch, because I really don't think I could live an Earthquake, and I, don't, and I know for a fact I can't outspeed. So I go straight for the uh, bullet punch. It does around half-ish, which is pretty good damage, I'm thinking. And unfortunately, I will not be able to live the uh, Earthquake because, you know, it's like base 104 attack or something, Zygarde. So I didn't really expect to live it, but, you know, why not? Uh, I could have switched out, but at the same time, fodder is or, you know, make it a little closer game, I guess. So I'm going to go straight for that uh, Dazzling Gleam on my... Uh I'm a Gengar, and that takes out the Zygarde, which is, like, pretty cool. So now he's going to go out into his Haunter, and I'm like, Haunter versus Gengar. The only, the only uh, Haunter that could ever beat a Gengar is the uh, Haunter on Pokemon Showdown, if you don't know who it is, if you go on Showdown and, like, uh, he's, he's in a bunch of the chat rooms. There's a, an admin called Haunter, and he's pretty awesome. So, yeah, it's the only Haunter I know that could ever kill Gengar. But anyway, he's going to go into Xerneas. I have the Sludge Bomb just for Xerneas. And he goes for Moonblast. And I'm like, Moonblast, that's a resisted hit. So, yeah, it does, like, little, little more than half H. Which, I guess, is good damage considering it's a resisted hit. But still, I can just 2-it KO that with a, um, with a Sludge Bomb. So, yeah, now I'm looking pretty good. But... Now he's going to go into his last Pokemon, I believe it's his last Pokemon anyways, and that's going to be his Fero. Yeah, last Pokemon, Fero. So I'm like, you know what, let's just, I really wanted to showcase uh, Shiny Drapion in this match, but I just, like, so I went for a sh uh, Shadow Ball just to see what he wanted to do, just because, you know, at that point, why not? Uh, so I do see that, so I just want to see how much he's going to do, so I'm going to go for the Destiny Bond just because, you know, why not? And that Fly actually is going to be able to take me out, which I... I don't know what I expected. It was I'm a Gengar at half health, but whatever. So I am able to take down that Fero, and that will leave me with the 3-0 victory, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah. So you know, comment, rate, subscribe, do your thing. Um, yeah. Bye. What is going on YouTube? This is uh, King Quag. Actually, it's Blaze Shadow I'm just trying to <laughs> psych. Sorry, that's probably a really bad invitation of King uh, King Quag. I'm sorry, King Quag, if you're watching this. I'm not making fun of you, I swear. But this is another battle against that passerby dude, you know, Francisco. Uh, I'm using my same team, except this time I'm going to showcase Shiny Drapion, because, you know, he had his spotlight when I battled John Origins, but this time I have to battle him again. 
Uh, he leads off with Greninja again. I really don't want to take a Hydro Cannon because I probably can't take it. So I'm going to go out into my Ferrothorn because my Ferrothorn can take it because I'm a specially defensive Ferrothorn. But he actually doesn't go for Hydro Cannon. He goes for Hydro Pump. And that does like nothing to me, which is pretty cool. And now he's going to switch out because he knows he can't do anything. So the second battle he played a lot better than the first battle. Which made me, it made me so proud because like, he was growing up and everything. But anyways, I'm going to go for a Leech Seed on that uh, Zygarde because I could Leech Seed anything. And now I'm going to get basically back up to full HP, which is pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. So yeah, so my HP goes back up, so I'm missing like 10 HP or something like that. But that's not really that big of a deal. I'm going to now switch because like, why would I stay in? I'm going to go into my Gengar predicting the Earthquake because that's really the only move he can hit me with. And that ha does happen, which is pretty cool. And I get Leech Seed Recovery even though I don't need it. And that just chips away at another 12% of that Zygarde, which is pretty cool. So now I'm going to go for Dazzling Gleam just because, you know, why not? And really at this point I just kind of wanted to fodder Gengar because Gengar like, pretty much could sweep his entire team. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted to make it kind of a close battle. I wanted to showcase uh, different Pokemon on my team. So I'm really my my plan right here is basically fodder Gengar, and just like wreck a little bit of havoc with Gengar, but really just fodder it in the most part, which actually does come into play a little bit more, makes the battle a little closer. I I think anyways, it makes it it makes me think more. So I go for the uh, Sludge Bomb there just in case he wanted to switch out into his into Xerneas for some reason, and I knew a, a, a Sludge Bomb would kill anyways. So he's gonna go out and do his Greninja, and I'm gonna be like. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go for that Dazzling Gleam, just because, yeah, it's super effective and all that stuff. But he lives! The Greninja lives, which is like, wow, and he goes for that Hydro Cannon, and down goes Greninja, uh, down goes Gengar. So I'm like, yay, Gengar's dead, woo woo. So now I'm gonna go into my Drapion, because like, yeah, why not? And it's shiny and everything, and it's gonna get a kill, because you, the Greninja has to recharge, and so I can go for that Poison Jab, and just take out that Greninja. So yeah, I'm looking pretty good, and now he's, although in hindsight I probably should have gone for uh, a knockoff, and it's kind of funny that I do carry knockoff over crunch, even though I am a choice banded Drapion. I don't know, I just, like, I don't know, I'm probably going to put crunch on over knockoff, but I, when I was making it, I kind of wanted it to be a defensive thing, and then I realized it was adamant, I was like, hey, I can EV this in defense and attack, uh, in HP and attack, and make it a really offensive threat and fairy killer. But anyway, he's going to Mega Evolve now, go into Mega Mewtwo, and oh my god, that thing is a threat, because it's going to go for that Aurosphere, and it's going to straight up Oko, my Greninja. And I'm like, wow, maybe foddering off uh, Gengar wasn't such a good idea. But anyway, I'm going to go, and I'm going to go back into my Ferrothorn, because it is a specially defensive Ferrothorn, and I'm going to try and live an Aurosphere, which I'm pretty sure I can, because I am max HP, max special defense. And I am able to live, and I'm able to get off Elite Seed, and now it's like a toss-up if I can live another one. Because it did do it did do a little more than half, but with Leech Seed Recovery, you know, it's a, if, I, if he gets very, very minimum damage, I probably can live it. But at the same time, Ferrothorn is not that big of a deal. I can live if my Ferrothorn dies, and unfortunately, unfortunately, it does die, but hey... Ferrothorn, you did good work. Now I'm going to go into my Scizor because, yeah, I got to kill this threat because it just killed two of my biggest guys. And he goes for strength. And I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> okay. In-game Mewtwo, Mega Mewtwo X for the win? Okay. But anyway, I'm going to get some Leech Seed Recovery. And now I'm like, I'm, I was like, well, why not? Let's get greedy because greed is good, man. That... God damn it, we live in America, we're gonna get greedy. So he's gonna go for a Psychic, that does nothing, I'm able to get up to plus three now, so I'm like, ah, alright. It's time to just end this. I really don't want to get too greedy, because, like, he might get crit me or something, knowing my luck, and then I'll end up getting swept by a Mewtwo X, and I'll feel really, really ashamed of myself. So I'm gonna go for that plus three bullet punch and knock out that Mewtwo X, which is like, yeah! And then he goes into his Ferrothorn and, uh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh, not Ferrothorn. And I'm just gonna just Oko that with a Bullet Punch, because it's Stab, it's Technicane, it's at plus three. Nothing, nothing will survive that. So he's gonna go out into his Exerneus now, which is like, yeah, Because Exerneus was now, like, the only real threat, because I really wanted to showcase, uh, Drapion. And I could go into Drapion and just go for that, uh, Poison Jab, but really, I didn't want to risk Exerneus going for something, like, completely random and just, like screwing me over. 
But anyway, in comes the Haunter. I'm going to now switch out, go into my Drapion because, you know, I have knockoff. <clears throat> Choice Bandit knockoff for the win, yeah. So in comes my shiny Drapion, and he goes for the Hypnosis, and I'm like, Oh, so then he goes for Shadow Ball, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, that's going to do nothing, bro. Absolutely nothing. I resist the hit because I uh, I am dark, and dark resists ghosts, so I'm asleep. And so I'm like, and then he goes for Dream Eater, and I'm like, ah, ah I'm dark. I'm dark, so that Dream Eater does nothing to me, literally. So he's going to go for another Shadow Ball. Unfortunately, I get the, like, three-turn sleep or something like that, but it doesn't matter because... I, I get the Spadesh drop, but it doesn't matter because I wake up, and I can go for that Knock Off! And that Knock Off just Okos. And, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, once again, I am left with a 3-0 victory, and then at that point, he's just like, I don't want to battle anymore, and he just ran away. And so, yeah, <clears throat> that's why you bring an EV team, uh, EV trained team, and you can just Oko random strangers. So, yeah. Um, that was gonna be the, this battle, uh, probably gonna do, like, a couple more battles for you guys, and then, yeah, so, we'll get up some single Wi-Fi battles, so, yeah, see you next time.